They have tried to build a lifetime of happiness together. But Klavdia and Boris are haunted by their childhood memories. There were mountains of dead bodies. At night, they'd carry them away from the hospital. The couple were lucky to make it. For 900 days during the Second World War, their city was cut off from the outside world. For some of that time, and against the bitterness of winter, residents were consuming less than 200 calories a day. Our old Jewish neighbor taught us to soften, cut and press papier mache into a gruel. It filled the stomach, it didn't matter with what. She sliced it and added it and divided a heap for each day. We looked at and compared each other's bowls. The pipes froze. Water was shut off. Surviving was an everyday endurance test. Some here still want to know how they did it. And scientists looking at blood samples from people who lived in the city during the siege and another part of Russia at the same time have found some differences. Scientists say a gene which we all have proved crucial. It can be in an active or an inactive form. The survivors they studied all had the active form, making them better able to cope with the effects of starvation. Survivors then had more than just a shared history. Researchers hope by better understanding the genetic makeup, we'll learn why some people are more prone to metabolic disorders. This allows science to work on prolonging human life. Before, we confirmed that calorie restriction prolonged the lives of mice, and we always wanted to check if it applies to people. But you can't experiment on humans. Our Leningrad siege survivors, to their misfortune, turned out to be a live experiment, which allowed us to confirm the concept that calorie restriction is a key mechanism in prolonging life. All the data from the survivors will go into a new biobank. Researchers believe it will help to personalize medicine and maintain the link between the past and future generations in this city of survival and reinvention. Emma Haywood, Al Jazeera, in St. Petersburg.